Hey guys, one thing I wanted to make a video about, which is um, available now in the new 2.5 version of the software that was released, is the ability to actually set the uh, machine to 3D stereoscopic mode. And what I'm going to uh, show you here is how to do it, first of all, and then what that means, okay? So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get out your keyboard and be of course in pinup popper on any of the menu selection uh, screens. This here is gonna be your ticket. You're gonna wanna have blue and red glasses. These you can find on Amazon for a few dollars. They're really inexpensive as you can see, but uh, you can also use just the paper, paper red and blue ones that uh, people used to have. Doesn't matter as long as it's red and blue like this. So of course we're going to start out by hitting our semicolon key here. Once you do, on the back glass, you'll have this pop open. You use your flipper buttons, your right flipper button, to go all the way down to custom scripts. So now that's highlighted in yellow. Then you can either hit your enter button or your start button here to get in. So I'm going to hit enter. Once you hit enter, you can see there's a new section here. To the first two lines say turn on 3D glasses and turn off 3D glasses. So I'm going to turn off my 3D glasses section. And the way to do that is you just hit enter again. Once you do that, Pinup Popper is going to completely reset itself. So the table I highly recommend you guys try out first with the 3D glasses is this one. It's called Simpsons Pinball Party and it's the VPW edition. Okay, so that is the one that is recessed the most that the VPN Workshop Brothers have created. And this is gonna give you the best 3D experience because of these towers. They're gonna to stick out with your glasses a lot. Similar to what you're seeing here, but inside of those 3D glasses and the rails and stuff are also gonna stick out more. So what you're going to do is you're going to lose a little bit of the color because, of course, these 3D glasses are going to make it less colorful, but you're going to end up getting a lot more play depth here, and that's going to really help you um, enjoy the game. Now, remember, these are not for everybody. Some people are going to love them, some people are going to hate them, but personally, I kind of think it's really cool, and uh, it's probably it's not as good as VR, but it's definitely a good step forward to uh, enjoy pinball the way it's meant to be played on a virtual pinball machine. So what I'm doing now is I'm loading the table and what you're going to see it's going to turn into stereoscopic mode. So you're going to start seeing that it's skewed a little bit. See how everything is offset and kind of odd looking to the naked eye. Now I don't know if I can or cannot put this in front of my lens and get a feel for it. Let's find out. Let's see if I can show you guys what that looks like in stereoscopic mode. It's probably not going to be possible to really show it. But at the end of the day, you, you guys get the idea. You know what to do. It's going to have to be one of those things where you're going to try it out with your own 3D glasses. And then I'm going to look forward to hearing your comments on this, uh, on the, in the comment section here and see if, uh, if you love it. So every table that you load, not in the menu system, but after you load it, is going to be like this, right? It's going to have that offset stereoscopic look. And to go back and reset that back to the way it was, you cannot do it from inside of a game. You want to exit first. You go back in. Preview looks normal. You use your keyboard again, right? You're going to go back into the semicolon. You're going to have your menu again. Use your right flipper. Go down to custom scripts. Oh, that went too far, so I'm going to use my left flipper button to go back up. There we go. I'm going to hit enter. And in this case, I'm going to go down to where it says turn off 3D glasses and hit enter. And see what's going to happen. The whole entire machine will just reset itself in two seconds flat. So now when you go in and you reload the table, you are going to literally have the normal view back the way it used to be. So I'm going to go back into my favorites here, back to the same table that I've loaded up. And let's give this a try. 
So waiting for it to load. So now we're basically back to normal. What's also interesting to know is, see, there you go. The table looks normal this time. I mean, it looks good in regular 2D, uh, you know, vision, but uh, it's worth trying the 3D glasses as well. Um, now, that being said, when you have it in this mode and you reboot your machine, uh, if you have it in 3D mode, it will retain it until you go back to that custom scripts menu and you disable it. All right. So enjoy this new functionality that is inherent to Visual Pinball, the new 10 point, I think it's 10.7 10 that introduced this. And um, yeah, enjoy the hell of the uh, Ultra VP. This is yet another reason to uh, buy one of these units and enjoy it with us. Thank you.